Boys, it's that time again. It's that time of the month where we sit back, relax, crack open a cold one with the boys, and watch some goddamn reactions. So today, guys, we're going to be checking out Xylopero, Baragon, and Wonderweez. Before the video starts, I'd just like to say that I launched my apparel, guys, my official apparel. So if you guys want to check it out, link will be in the description. I have shirts, tank tops, sweaters, and long sleeves, guys. If you want to support your boy Ray and Cop, the first ever Ray apparel, check it out right now. Link in the description. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys soon. What's going on, homies? It's your boy Ray to the Wood here. Welcome back to the episode of Bleach Brave Souls, guys. And in today's video, like I said, we're we'll taking a look at all the news, everything that was recently announced on the K-Lab live stream, the K-Lab um, station, and we're going to take a look at everything for ourselves. So, yeah, guys, a lot of cool stuff got announced. I'm super hyped. Unfortunately, like, there's already, like, 100 videos out right now on uh, on this, but it's okay because all that matters is uh, that you guys come for my, my, my reaction. So, <laughs> it's all that matters at the end of the day. And today, we're going to go through everything, okay? So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just ate. Just woke up. Now I'm time. Now it's time to grind. So here we go, boys. Let's put the mic down a bit. Let's get this. So first off, we have uh, Frenzy Rukia. So Frenzy Rukia is going to be the next thing coming out. Uh, she is set to release on the 9th, um, I mean, of the 16th of September, which is amazing. Uh, as you guys can see on screen here, I'm going to show you a little picture. That is Frenzy Rukia right there, guys. And uh, she looks pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping they show her stats, but I guess we will find out right now. So we're going to continue to watch the stream. Um, I actually haven't been completely caught up yet. So I haven't seen any gameplay. I haven't seen anything. We're just going to go through the news first, and then we'll jump into the gameplay. So next up, uh, we have a, another boss rush coming, a.k.a. night mode mode. But it is nightmare mode, not boss rush, just because nightmare mode is a lot better. First off, um, with nightmare mode, you get... Um, 25 orbs from completing no you get 15 times 5 which is 65 orbs uh, for completing uh, all four uh, or all five attributes and then you get nightmare mode unlock which is an additional 25 so total that's 90 orbs you can get plus you get accessory tickets and plus you get um, uh, four star uh, four star tickets and four star gold tickets which is so sick like I love four star accessory tickets those are my all-time favorite thing to be honest like they're one of my favorite things to pull just because you can't get those too often and they're very rare and they usually end up giving you some decent stuff so that's pretty hype I'm excited for that and uh, yeah let's continue on alright guys so next up inheritance mode is coming back guys yes inheritance mode is making its second round or its third fourth whatever round it's coming in at, and it's coming back around on the 18th guys I don't know how long it's gonna last but it's coming back. So if you guys are low on hearts, if you guys are low on potions, XP crystals, jewels, or droplets, this is going to be the best thing for you because this is the best event to farm all of those stuff. They give you so much of each, especially uh, crystals and especially uh, hearts. Hearts are ridiculous for uh, inheritance mode. So definitely be excited for that. Prepare yourselves, prepare your accounts. And uh, yeah, guys, next up, um, we're going to go through a few other things. We have a few new raids coming out so we have an Uryu raid and a Omida raid I assume that the Omida raid is going to be a four star and the Uryu raid is going to be a five star raid guys specifically for the new characters that are coming out so let's talk uh, about those new characters guys finally it's uh it's time to jump into it so the way I'm gonna do this is we're just gonna take a look at their stats first and then their gameplay and then no stats um, abilities and then we'll jump into gameplay just because um, I want to know what they have uh, before I make a final opinion on them because if I jump in just see their gameplay as them being five star my opinion won't be as good so here we go guys let's hop in uh, to some uh, to some stats so we're starting off with Wonder Weiss, guys okay so Wonder Weiss is a tech character Wonder Weiss is a tech character and he has uh, fire resistance up to 100%. So he's finally, they're finally releasing the fire resistance version of Nemu. If you guys don't know, Nemu is 100% poison reduction. And you guys might think that's stupid, but in quests that revolve 
like my Yuri quest that has poison, it's amazing because you only need one link slot to completely negate that that status element, which is like one more king. So he's fine with the fire resistance. So if there's raids that require fire resistance um, and poison, you could run Nemu and this character and it'll be absolutely perfect. So that's amazing. Next, um, his six star skills are as followed, guys. He actually, no, I didn't even read you guys his stats yet. So taking a look at his stats, you know, I'm just gonna, yeah, no, I'll, I'll throw it up on screen. Uh, I'll just throw it up on screen. So he has 740 stamina, uh, 537 attack, 271 defense, 256 focus, and 548 SP, guys. That is crazy for a hybrid character. As a five star, that's ridiculous. Oh my God, I'm looking at six star stats now. I am mesmerized. Guys, at six star, he gets 955 stamina, 722 attack, 329 defense, 320 focus, and 704 SP. What a hybrid character. He has both uh, attack and SP. I'm clapping so much, I hate that. He has both attack and SP over 700, guys. Wow. This is going to be a fantastic green character. And I know a lot of you guys have some good green units for Stark. I mean, for uh, Koga. Oh my god, I have to pull Wonder Weiss on JP. I have the best green accessories for him. It'll be so good, man. Oh, Wonder Weiss is looking promising, guys. All right, so let's uh, let's jump into some gameplay of Wonder Weiss. All right, guys, so as a little bonus, um, let's take a look at Lily. Uh, so... Lilianetto is coming out as well as a four-star character. Finally, we haven't been getting four-star characters for a while. I mean, we got the Adekaku, the tag team one. Besides that, we haven't been getting too many, so I'm glad to see a new one. But let's take a look at her gameplay. So this is nothing too serious, guys. Um, she's a Seto. And, uh, yeah, you know, she's a four-star. You can't really expect much from her. So, like, it's just, just a cool collectible character that you can run with Stark or something that'd be pretty funny. They probably have, like, uh... A boost with each other. You know, it'd be cool if like the four stars had like really powerful boosts that they could give to their five star. Like she would boost Stark up like double. I just want to see the ultimate, to be honest. Oh. Cool, so she has a full screen attack as a four star. That's pretty Oi. lit. Hi. Um, <clears throat> okay. Here we go, boys. This is what I'm looking for. Wonder Weiss. Wonder Weiss is here and he is ready to kill. Oh no. Okay, so they're just showing his stats off now, guys. Let's take a sip before we spit it out. Sorry, I, I know I'm looking this way, but I have the gameplay on this screen, so it's okay. All right, let's get it, man. I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. All right. Wow. Oh, they're showing 200 gameplay. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 Okay, so his normal attacks, strong attacks are one hitters, but they seem to hit a huge area. Whoa. Well, he has nothing equipped to him, so I mean, like, that's probably why he's not hitting as hard. I guarantee you his ultimate, guys, is gonna be that fight against Yamamoto, where he, uh, I guarantee it's gonna be the fight against Yamamoto, where he got, like, he went to his Bunkai, or his, his Resurrection, he got, like, a thousand hands, and he starts punching. Oh, he didn't get the thousand hands, but... Wow, that's a sick animation. Full screen, too. Wow. Wonder Luis, guys. Whoa, let's see this picture. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that's Wonder Luis, guys. Um, I messed up. I forgot to take a look at his... Um, I forgot to take a look at his stats, guys. So, I mean, his uh, six-star abilities. That's what we forgot to look at. So he has... Normal attack damage up, strong attack damage up, ultimate attack damage up, nad range up, bombardment. So that's why you saw his alt hit so hard and sprinter, guys. So, um, so unfortunately, um, he doesn't have frenzy, but that's reasonable. 
uh, because this guy has over 700 attack both for mad and sad so I mean what more can you ask for honestly that's already amazing as it is so can't talk badly about him there he is a amazing character that was pretty sick so next up we have uh, <coughs> is that Sile? Sile? Shout out to anybody that got that reference. I'm gonna play the clip right now for you guys. Five star, five star, five star, five star. Is that Sile? Another fucking Sile. <laughs> Taking a look at Sile, guys. Sile is a speed character with his soul trait being 25 Nad, which is so cool. We have another 25 Nad character, so that's really trippy. A Sile with Nad. That's, that's gonna be uh, interesting to see. So his six star abilities are as followed. He has normal attack damage up, strong attack damage up, ultimate damage up, debilitator, medic, and sprinter. Whoa, we got a healer, Sile. Whoa, so he has medic and debilitator. So he's gonna do poison, I'm guessing with his ultimate. Hopefully he's gonna heal with his attacks, guys. So, um, oh my God. So let's take a look at uh, Sile stats really quick and uh, we'll hop back. So take a look at Sile stats. He has 771 stamina, 565. Um, actually, no. Let's look at let's look at his six star. Why are we looking at five star? So six star, he has he has 1,001 stamina, 743 attack, 341 defense, 339 focus, and 608 SP. He has 743. That's the third highest, I believe. There's there's Ruruka with 750, and then there's Dungai with 745, and I think he's the third highest, 743. If I am wrong, please correct me, but he's in his final form, which is amazing. And uh, let's take a look at some gameplay, guys. Actually, wait, what, what did I miss? I, I'm so bad at this, guys. I'm sorry, man. I actually apologize. This video is, is, is terrible. Um, yeah, pretty much. Let's take a look at his gameplay, guys. So let's go back onto the live stream, and let's take a look. Oh, he looks so cool. Okay, so there you can see his stats on screen. I should have just read it here. I'm gonna do that for now. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Okay. What's that plus two there? Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, that's the healing. Okay, so switch tax is set up. Whoa, that's cool. Wait, what was that second? Hold on. That was a long recharge time. Holy. Okay, let's watch that again really quick. So Seto is his first. Oh, it's not a heal. It's a boost. Oh, he gives a team boost. That's crazy. Ooh. Ooh, okay, I like that. I like that, that's pretty sick, okay. Whoa, his normal is sick. Whoa, that range on his normal. Do we have any range blue characters? Like Nad blue characters? Damn, he's gonna be the range Nad blue character, guys. Whoa. Can you imagine if he had Flurry? Wow, and his strong attack still hit for damage. And his Nad has poison. That's crazy, man. That's a big Nad range. Look at that. Whoa! Whoa, they're still going! Whoa! That's sick! I love animated like like how do I describe it? I love animated uh ultimate attacks. Ones that show something up on screen after, like how Mayuri uh, gets his Zompak toe to kind of crawl across the screen, how Retsu has her Zompak toe kind of fly across the screen, how Toshiro or Hyodemaru becomes the ice dragon and flies. I like that stuff. That is so cool, man. Sile, bro. Wow. Wow, Sile. Okay, so let's continue on and we'll take a look at the stats here. So next, if he has 598 as a five star, guys, this is going to be, this is going to be a, the highest SP character or one of the highest SP characters. Let me see this, hold on. I'm kind of scared to see. Okay. Oh, wow. Highest SP in the game. 729 tied with Lunar and tied with 
uh, Ukiora, I believe, or one of the two. No, not Ukiora. He's 724. Lunar and somebody else. Wow. Okay, so he's a recharge character, guys, with 1,011 stamina, 627 attack, 336 defense, 332 focus, and 729 SP, man. Wowzers. Wowzers. And he's orange. Who do I have that's orange? That's, oh, Wukiora. And he's a recharge character. And I guarantee he's gonna have a charge up attack. Every banner has one charge up character, I feel. And I feel like we haven't seen one yet. So let's go back um, and let's take a look at, uh, oh yeah, sh complete shout out to the Reddit. Thank you guys so much uh, for filling out all the um, mid month stats and the abilities. Like if it wasn't for the Reddit, I wouldn't have had to wait a few days to get this. So thank you guys. Link to the full post in the description. Uh, shout out to, uh, shout out to the man, uh, Gary H. Um, he's the homie, man. This guy, literally 15 minutes after the stream ended, he posted this. Like, what a G. So go write this post up. Um, like I said, I don't have anything against the Reddit. I feel like just some of them just have strong opinions on us, even though they don't, like, never got to know us. But I really appreciate what they do. So thank you, Reddit. And uh, let's take a look at Bargard. So he's mine. He has 20% or 12% uh, cooldown. And his six-star abilities are as followed. Um, he has nad damage up and range damage up. Ultimate damage up, debilitator, frenzy, and sprinter, guys. So he has frenzy and debilitator, ultimate damage up, nad and range. Wow. And his melee has weakening. Wow. Let's. I, I'm excited, guys. I'm. I'm so hyped to see some gameplay. I am so hyped to see some gameplay right now. Oh my god. Guys, this is gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be OP. Oh no, reach. Oh oh, I like that. That's good. Okay, first strong attack. Pretty basic on forward. Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of slow in his nav, but that's how Gargar is. Whoa, that is a big range. I feel like. Well, I mean, he's updated nonetheless with, with Frenzy, and he has the highest Frenzy, and he's a recharge character, so he's going to be popping those attacks off fast. But, uh, kind of like Ukiura. Kind of like Ukiura, but this guy has Weakening, which is, like, why he's so good, and that third strong attack is crazy, but I don't know. I kind of like Ukiura's moves better, and they're almost the exact same character. They're both Frenzy, really high SP, uh, attack, cooldown, or recharge, mind, Let's see his ult. This is this is the one I'm, I'm waiting for this animation. Whoa! That is a sick animation. And that, that hit hard. Whoa. And that's gonna do weakening, which is amazing. Status ailment and all of them. So all of Baragon's moves have a status ailment and it's all weakening which is the best in the game for status ailments wow so personally my opinion on this is that i feel like i feel like baragon probably got the like he's amazing but like i feel like they didn't really like change much about him if that does that make sense guys i feel like they didn't change too much about baragon um he looks amazing i like the way his strong attacks are but like his first one had a knockback, his first version, and I, I'm surprised I didn't give him another one. I'm surprised I didn't give him a Vortex like they did on his other version. I know, I guess that's kind of copying, but I don't know. I feel like they could have been a little bit more creative with his moveset. Maybe given him a charge up attack that he kind of explodes and like a huge uh, cloud of his like weakening or his, his death, whatever it is, his death like dust or not dust, sorry, you know what I mean. The, the death comes out of him and it just hits a big area. But I guess that would be copying Ukiora too much too. So I guess they, they know what they're doing. I can't really comment on Kayla. But yeah, guys, Sile, Baragon, and uh, what's his name? Wonder Weiss are to come, guys. And I'm super excited. This release is on the 16th. So in three days, you know your boy is going to be summoning. In three days is going to be, oh my God, no way, it's a Saturday. No way, it's a Saturday, guys. Okay, so Saturday, 2 p.m. No, no, no. I'm going to say 3 p.m. Saturday, uh, EDS time. I will put a timer and, or a countdown somewhere when the dates are coming close. Live stream, big live stream. We might live stream on YouTube or Twitch. I got to figure it out, but big live stream. We're going to go hard for these characters, guys. I want to get at least two of the three of these, 
and I just have my collection because I don't have any styles and I would love one. And Baragon is super outdated and I would love to get a revamped version of him. And Wonder Weiss is also really cool. So I'm really looking forward to all three of these characters, guys. The video is already long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your opinions on the characters in the comment section down below and which one you guys want the most or if you're going to be summoning or if you're going to skip. Let me know, guys. Thank you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.